Hello everyone, this is Steve. I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to show you something I've been working on. I've talked about this uh, many times and last year um, I worked with another guy on here to learn about this technique but um, never really conquered it until now. Um, it's not perfect but I want to actually show you the first time in over 20 years of studying this or whatever you want to say how long it's been since I played with commoner me it hasn't been that long but 20 years ago is when I was on the computer but I've studied it for the last several years here and to no avail I'm now going to introduce to you fine scrolling so it's coarse scrolling it's not technically fine scrolling but you'll see that it goes from screen to screen now I don't think it's not yet doing it's not switching between like different rooms yet and it's not scrolling yet to the left but we'll still work on that and I'll show you um, I've worked on this all day and it's been a disaster but I finally got something to show you so anyways let me just show that to you and the codes right here so give me kind of a short video here so you see the screen and what I've also done is I've immobilized the player so he's staying in one spot so he doesn't that's the whole purpose of when you find scroll something you want to keep the player stationary where he's at so when you start moving the screen just moves inside of the player so here it goes now there is a gap here because of my screens or actually some of my screens were done that way and this was one of the biggest problems I had was I had a gap in these other ones here and I didn't even realize why it wasn't picking up the data every time I put it there that's because there was nothing there it was a bunch of blanks but anyways you're now going to witness screen scrolling even though it's jerky if I set this in an interrupt it won't be so jerky but you can still see it looks good it's moving from screen to screen now it'll stay in the same screen here because I haven't yet made them switch screens but you can still see it's actually fine scrolling I keep saying fine scrolling, well, it's coarse scrolling it's jumpy because it's not in an interrupt just let you know once you set an interrupt what you do is you coarse scroll it uh, for seven bytes and then you fine scroll it for seven bytes after that you'll implement perfect fine scrolling but it's not bad I've actually used a routine from Bogorin where actually you set the raster beam at, and you make sure it I'll show you right here. You, you want to wait until it actually reaches 252 right here and you want to keep going. So it's kind of a loop until you hit 252 and once you're done you, that means the raster beam is off the page. So hope you guys enjoyed that short video. Um, I'm pretty proud of it. I didn't know I'd get it done tonight. Um, it's not completely done but at least it's working. Earlier some of the examples I had it was really bad. I'd scroll and it was, the screen was all screwed up and everything. But it's also not moving off the screen like some of the the register 53 to 70 will actually scroll the screen upward and upward until it disappears you know this one is wrapping around so it's staying exactly within its borders and that's just done by resetting on a counter each time which I do right here I can show you real quick this is actually the um, the pixel scroll left so I'm gonna get to the right part which is right here hopefully you can see this too I'll move this over a little bit So right here is the pixel scroll left and here's the, the code I use for it and I'm implementing the um, well this is what you do and to kind of explain this to you guys also what you're doing is you're basically taking 1025 so you want to look at the character right here you want to take what's in that area and you want to save it and then what you want to do is you want to once you've scrolled seven bytes you're going to store it in the next position that's the whole purpose of fine scrolling is you look to the immediate right when you're scrolling to it's kind of reverse but when you're scrolling to the right you look to the character to the immediate right and you you shift it left and you move it left so that's how basically i'm able to do this here i'm looking at this character here it's and you're you're shifting it well this is different that's if you're going this way but if you're going this way it's different so you always want to look at the character here well it's the same thing to the immediate right and you move it to the left and that's the whole purpose and this is why i got this cut off fine line now this line here it's because I'm checking that it it's actually down here I'm sorry so here's where the map draws right here I'm checking to see if it reaches um, I got the wrong one here this is the left so I'm gonna go to the right excuse me left is below here I'm sorry in my software right is right here okay so now we're talking so the right routine down here what we're doing is we're checking to see if it's reached 39th position if it has then what we want to do is we're going to scroll to the right too this is just basically saying 
draw the whole screen first. Once you've drawn the whole screen, you have to separate. I separated this this scroll routine here called scroll right. And then down here, we just position the map. I'm using map five just as a test because I was having trouble getting the other maps to work correctly. So I just finally decided to use a map that's actually easier to use. And what it does is it waits until you've scrolled over 40 bytes because it starts at 40 and it increments to 40. Once you've hit 80, you reset that scroll register back to 40 so it flips back over here. And that's how we get that, that line flipping back over. But later what I want to have it doing is once you flip to 80, move on to the next screen, flip to 80, next screen, next screen, and so on. And you also want to make sure that you have one set up for the back register too which I'll show you here for the, um, the left routine. You want to set it to zero. If it's hit zero, that means you're at the wall. But if it's not at zero, then you want to keep incrementing, which I call scroll left. You want to decrement it. But for some reason, it's not working right now. When I do it this way, watch, it kind of just freezes the screen. So we'll fix that later, but at least it's working this direction for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short video. And please like, subscribe this channel. And yeah. We're going to have fine scrolling in this game very shortly here. I mean, it's already underway. So you guys have a good night. Please like and subscribe, and this is Steve Morrow signing off.